Today, let me show you how we can take a data set that looks something like this and transform it into a chart that looks something like this, which is a summary of our data. Um, I have a list of employees actually here and the monthly sales for each employee. And over here in the chart, I can see the monthly sales for each employee breaking down. And I can also see their total sales in aggregate across all months. So this is a very good example of a descriptive uh, a chart which shows me all the details I'm looking for. I'm going to show you how we can design this chart. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select the entire data table. And you can notice over here that I have a column that's calculating the total sales for all employees, as well as a column that says bottom line. And all of the values within this column are zero. And I've deliberately kept it this way. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'll go into insert and I will insert a 2D clustered column chart. Now I'm going to cut the chart and I will paste it into a new Excel file or a, rather a new worksheet so I can kind of see what I'm doing over here. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. And of course, these columns, these bars here are the totals. So I'm going to select them and I will actually go on to our change series chart type and for the totals column as well as the bottom line uh, bars we want to make them a line okay so i'm going to convert both to a line and i'll press ok and once we've done that i'm going to click on the line and i'll go into plus and i will add the up down bars now that i've done that i'm going to click back on the line and I will go into format data series. Now, what I want to do is I want each bar to cover all of the employee monthly sales bars. As you can see, this bar should cover all of these small bars as well. So you will need to play around with gap width. For me, the lucky number I think is 19. So I'm going to go with 19 and press enter. And as you can see, it's doing a good job covering all of the other bars under it as well. And once we've done that, I'm going to click on this actually this line and I'm going to just format data series and I will actually go ahead and select no line just to remove the line okay and I'm going to click on these bars and I'm going to give them a gradient fill and I've already preset my colors which is white and teal and there's only two gradient stops and the white color as you can see has 100% transparency because if it had if it had zero transparency, then I wouldn't be able to see the bars underneath. Okay, so adjust the transparency, the colors, the gradient stops as needed. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about the colors because that's all on you. And after you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead down to the graph or the chart and you're going to remove the bottom line and the total labels just because we don't want those. We're going to go on these bars here and we'll go into format and we'll select series total. Okay. Now this is only going to calculate the totals now. So we're going to go back here, insert data labels, and we're going to right click and format these data labels so that they are above the, the charts or the bars rather. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to give them a red background and a white fill color. And we're going to make them bold as well. So now we can see the running totals for everything that's going on. And once we've done that, I can give my chart a quick title as well. I'm just going to call it employee uh, performance. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on plus. And we already have grid lines, but I'm going to select all of the remaining grid lines as well. Once we've done that, I'm going to select these top grid lines over here. And I'm just going to go into our format tab and I will give them a shape outline as well, which is going to be black. And I'm just going to increase the weight of it as well. And as you can see now, we have a much more descriptive chart on how the employee sales are coming along, as well as the total sales across the past few months. OK, so that's how you can take a data set that looks like this and you can make a chart that looks something like this. Okay. I hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching.